Um, I can show you a little bit about uh, what we know so far. Uh, usually it takes us a couple days to figure out where we went, but with our side benefit of our train relative navigation system, uh, we know pretty well where we went. Uh, if you bring up the first figure, you can see that uh, we're off the center just a little bit to the southeast, uh, about a kilometer, 1.7 kilometers or so to the southeast. Um, uh, it's a pretty good area, uh, but uh, terrain relative navigation was pretty important here. Uh, if you go to the next figure, and not just for telling us where we are, uh, you can see that we landed in you know, an area that's relatively rugged there. Um, and uh, I think uh, Ken will be able to tell you about the science of what's there, uh, but I was just worried about what would, uh, what would kill us on landing. So if you go to the next slide here, uh, red is generally bad. Um, and you can see that the, uh, the system managed to find a nice blue spot in the midst of all that red, um, all, that, uh, all that death that's out there for us. So we found a parking lot and, uh, and hit it. So, um, you know, the train relative navigation system was absolutely essential uh, in getting us down here and helping us figure out where, where we are right away. Um, we are in a nice flat spot. The vehicle is only tilted by about uh, 1.2 degrees. Um, so uh, we did successfully find that parking lot and have a safe rover on the ground. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of my team for doing that. Um, and that's really all I got to say. <laughs> I think uh, this is the end of my journey, I guess, with, uh, with perseverance. But the, uh, the, the adventure, really, the mission is really just beginning. Uh, so let me toss it over to Jennifer to talk about the surface uh, work that we have ahead of us.